Hi guys, this is a video on creating a custom installer for your Windows operating system. Now this popped up in my Google Reader, so a big thank you to Tom's Hardware for finding this. It's actually called Ninite or Ninite. So I understand some of you may be on a clean install of Windows 7 right now. This applies to Windows XP, Vista and 7. And if you're anything like me with a clean OS, you'll go out to all the websites and you'll download all the things you need, like Firefox, Chrome, OpenOffice, VLC, uTorrent, 7-Zip and the rest of it. And you'll find this a very tedious process, especially if you end up with clean OS's on multiple computers or if you keep reinstalling your operating system, you'll find it gets very annoying to have to keep going to these websites. Now one way around it was, would be to get a USB stick, download all the installation files and put them on the stick. However, those applications will quickly become out of date, so you'll have to end up going back to the website and downloading the latest versions. Now this is where Ninite or Ninite comes in. You basically create your own installer and it will download the latest versions of the software you need, which is all free software, and it does it very quickly and very easily. As you can see here, it says we install apps with default settings and say no to browser toolbars and other junk. So you don't have to go through the setup process, installing all those extra stuff. So it's very, very useful. Now all you have to do is go to the website, ninite.com or ninite.com. I will provide the link in the description. As you can see, it's all separated into the different types of things you can do. So web browsers, I've got Firefox selected, messaging, media, imaging, documents, antivirus, runtimes, file sharing, other utilities, uh, compression and developer tools. So very, very useful stuff. You simply click all the stuff you need and click Get Installer. Now once that's done, you'll find you'll have something like this. I recommend you put this onto a uh, USB flash drive or anything like that. And as you can see, the installer isn't big at all. It's 168 kilobyte for me, and I've only selected five or six things. Simply run it. It'll say Preparing Setup, and eventually it will load. There we go, and it's ready to go. It's now preparing the installation. If you show v details, you can see it's actually downloading my stuff right now, and it's going to install it on my system. It skipped my Firefox as it's obviously open at the moment. So that's pretty much it. That is Ninite. You can download it from ninite.com or create your installer. So that's about it, really. Thanks for watching my video. I'll link that Tom's Hardware post if you want to see it there. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.